Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today is going to be a little different. We're just going to do a quick recap, a little rundown of all the crazy stuff that went on in Trump world today that is actually of note. While the whole article headline thing was pretty funny, wasn't really that important in the grand scheme of things. Um, the feds are apparently uh, conducting a probe about Giuliani and whether or not he stood to personally benefit from a Ukrainian energy company that was being pitched alongside his Biden investigation about profiting from a Ukrainian energy company. You can't make that up. That's amazing. Um, also, involving Giuliani, <laughs> uh, he was questioned about whether or not he thought the president was going to throw him under the bus in the impeachment hearing, to which he said that he didn't think so, but he does have very, very good insurance, so if he does, all my hospital bills will be paid. And of course, his lawyer, who was on the phone, chimed in to say, he's joking, he's joking. Of course, because he certainly wouldn't be threatening the United States president with blackmail because that's just how they roll now. Um, in addition to this, President Trump tweeted about Yovanovitch, who was a witness today. This is the same witness he said was going to go through some things. And she said it was intimidating. So you can add that to his list of impeachable offenses. Witness David Holmes uh, testified about a call that Sondland had with the president in which the president specifically asked about the Biden investigation. So there's no more plausible deniability there. That that's president can't say he didn't know. Giuliani wasn't acting alone. It's going to be really hard for the president to throw him under the bus, even if he wanted to, even with whatever insurance Giuliani may or may not have. Um, the aide, Holmes, asked Sondland about it. And Sondland said that Trump only cares about big stuff. The aide was like, well, that's, you know, there's war. That's big stuff. And he said, no, big stuff that benefits the president. <laughs> They're uh, certainly painting Trump as a very self-absorbed person who does not care about the United States. Um, now, Roger Stone was convicted on all counts today um, for his obstruction of the Russia Trump investigation that does not bode well for the criminal prosecutions that are likely to come after this administration ends Republicans please take note like all other administrations this one will eventually end and when it does the next administration will get to the bottom of what's going on what has happened when that happens those in Congress in the Senate that are defending him will forever be remembered for the rest of their very short political careers as idiots who got conned by a real estate mogul. You're throwing away your legacies to protect somebody who is not going to protect you. And we still got a whole bunch more to go. <laughs> Can't wait till tomorrow's episode. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.